Hello everyone, this is a November 14 question, paper 1 1 and the question number is 4. Uh, it's concerned with the chapter ideal gases. Uh, the question which two glass vessels M and N are connected by a closed valve. This is our closed valve. Uh, M contains helium at 20 degrees Celsius, uh, M as helium gas, at a pressure of 1 multiplied by 10 to the 5 Pascal. Uh, which we also, which we can also regard as uh, room temperature and pressure. N has been evacuated, so we don't have anything at N right now. N has three times the volume of M. So if uh, volume of M is X, or we could say volume of M is V, it sounds more cool. Uh, volume of M is V, so the volume of N is 3V. Uh, in an experiment, the valve is opened. The valve is open, the seal is opened and the temperature of whole apparatus is raised to 100 degrees Celsius. So uh, for this question we are going to assume that helium is an idle gas and among all the gases we have, all the real gases we have, helium most uh, closely simulates an idle gas because uh, uh, it has, it is uh, the smallest uh, element, uh, smallest uh, gases element and so it has very less van der Waals forces, uh, very minimal van der Waals forces of attraction. So it uh, satisfies that, uh, uh, let's say, case to be called an idle gas. So in this question, we're assuming helium is an idle gas. Now for uh, idle gas, we know that the equation is PV equals to NRT, uh, where uh, the symbols have their uh, usual meaning. Uh, we could, if we divide by both sides, we'll have PV by T equals to NR. Now in this uh, case, we have helium at the same helium, the same mole of helium is dispersed in, uh, we could say, both these gas vessels after the seal is opened. So N is same across uh, both the cases, in the final system as well and in uh, and only in M vessel. And R will it's molar gas constant, so it is same across all the gases, not only this case, but uh, every case. So we could say uh, for... For M, for M our uh, value is, our let's say our equation is PM, VM by TM equals to NR. And uh, for the system we could say, for system it's, uh, we say PS, VS by TS equals to NR. Uh, we could label this equation 1, this equation 2. And since NR is common to both the equations, so we could equate these and say uh, we have uh, PM VM by TM equals to PS VS by TS. Now what we have is, uh, let's fill in these equations uh, based on what we know. PM is uh, 1 into 10 to the 5. Uh, I'll do this. 1 into 10 to the 5 and uh, Vm is well we don't we have called Vm V so Vm is V divided by Tm is 20 degrees Celsius converting this to Kelvin we have 273 plus 20 as 293 293 equals to PS so we are supposed to find the final pressure in the system uh, we'll write PS as it is and Vs is Vs of the system is Vs of vessel N is 3V M is V, so uh, this, uh, volume of system means uh, our volume should be V plus 3V, so Vs is 4V. Because uh, M is dispersed in uh, both these vessels and uh, 3 is, uh, M is V and N is 3V, so it's 4V. I don't know why I repeated that. Uh, divided by TS, which is 273 plus 100 is 373. Now, uh, from here, V and V cancels out. I'll uh, do rest of the calculation here. We could say or uh, the 373 goes up, uh, that means 1 into 10 to the 5 multiplied by 373 divided by 293 is uh, 4 times PS. Now we have uh, again 4 times PS is, uh, let's see the calculator. Uh, it's 1 into 10 to the 5, oops, 1 into 10 to the 5 into 373 divided by 293. 4 times PS is this and if we divide by 4 we have uh, PS as, let's cut this, 31825. Uh, let's say 31826 and uh, 
if we convert this into uh, these uh, options, we'll have uh, th two, three significant figures. This is uh, 31800, which is equivalent to or equals to 3.18 into 10 to the 4 pascals. So this verifies A is our final correct answer.